Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on cooking with Anad Diesel. And today I'll be showing you how to make your own homemade focaccia or pizza style flatbreads. So we'll be going through the entire process of making the dough and portioning it so that your flatbreads are ready to go the day you want to have them. So let's get started right now. So in the bowl of my KitchenAid mixer here, I've uh, put it over a scale. I highly recommend you invest in a scale. They're pretty cheap. And once you start using them, believe me, you're not gonna stop. In case you don't have a scale, I'll give you the measurements in cups in my blog, which you can see in the link down below. So first, we're gonna measure 22.5 ounces of bread flour. Next, we're gonna measure 0.5 ounces of salt. Next, I'm gonna use about five grams of instant yeast. I'm changing the units to grams because it's a much nicer looking number than 0.18 ounces and it's easy to measure. So five grams of instant yeast. Following that, measure about an ounce of extra virgin olive oil. So now add in your water and start mixing at the lowest speed. We want our dough to be quite soft and sticky and you want to knead the dough in your mixer until it no longer sticks on the sides of the bowl but it still sticks at the bottom. You can see here, our dough is really sticky right now and you may need to add some more flour to firm it up but your end product should still stick a bit at the bottom but it should be clearing the sides of the bowl. So I'm going to start adding some more flour while continuing to mix. So as you can see now, our dough is still stuck to the bottom. We want that to happen. We want it to be quite soft and sticky but it is clearing the sides of the bowl. So that tells me that it's ready. And now let's move on to the next stage. So now we're gonna be stretching and folding the dough. And to start that process, put a few drops of the olive oil onto your work surface and spread that out into a wide area. And then place your dough from your mixer onto the surface. Now just rub some olive oil onto your hands. It's gonna help you work with the dough even better. Take a bent scraper. Get that dough all onto your surface here. You can sprinkle your bent scraper with some oil or flour if you want. So now what you want to do is kind of pat this dough out into a rectangle which is about 6 inches wide and 12 inches tall. So 6 inches and 12 inches here. Now I've patted this out and now just let this dough relax for about 5 minutes. So now what you want to do, after your dough has relaxed, rub your hands with some olive oil and pat this dough out so that it's twice its length. Just pat it out. Try to make sure that when you're tap patting it out that you don't end up with something which is super thin on one end and super thick on the other. Try to maintain the thickness. For those who are measuring with the scale, this should now be 12 by 24 or roughly that. So after you've padded it out, we're gonna fold it. This technique is called stretching and folding. So you're gonna fold it onto itself into halves like that. Fold this and what I like to do is turn it over so that the seam side is down. So we folded it back into a rectangular shape. Now what you want to do is spray it with some olive oil and now loosely cover it with some plastic wrap. Now let this sit and ferment for about 30 minutes. So now just repeat the same process two more times and then we'll get back into the process. So after the third stretch and fold procedure, we end up with something looking like this, like a pillow. So here I have this 17 by 12 inches sheet pan and I've brushed it with some olive oil. And now let's transfer the dough onto the sheet pan here. So now with the tips of your fingers, start spreading the dough. And you want to spread this out so that it covers the entire surface of this pan. If you feel like you are stretching it out, but it's coming back down like you see right now. It's not, it's resisting the change. And just let this sit, cover it with a damp cloth and 
let it sit for about 15 20 minutes and then proceed again so that the dough has some time to relax and then you can further shape the dough so there you have it guys just it's all spread out don't worry about the corners that much and if you want for a big party you can bake this whole thing and it's gonna be the ultimate party snack but for this video I'm gonna be cutting this into four pieces and but before that let's cover this with some saran and now place this into your freezer and so you want to chill this until it's almost frozen so that you're able to cut this and easily transfer this onto saran wrap and wrap it up and store this into your freezer and have it whenever you want it. Take out the wrapping. So it's a little bit frozen, it's kind of firm. That's what you want. So there's your flatbread and it's almost completely frozen to so the point that if you try to press it, it does punch in a little bit but it's still hard and you want that to be able to transfer it. So using a rubber or silicone spatula, just kind of detach the corners from the pan, so it's, it's going to be stuck on it. And what you want to do is transfer this from a baking sheet onto a cutting board so we can shape this. You've nudged the edges using a spatula, just kind of slide it in gently, slowly. Take it out of the pan, just displace it. So after you've taken it out, you know, make sure you take it off whole and that there are no cracks. So once it's off, you can either cut this into four halves. That's what I tend to prefer. I've tried six and the flat bits tend to be really small and puny that way. So let's cut this in a half. And you want to be working fast since your dough is defrosting right now. And what that means, it's gonna get softer, it's gonna get stickier. You don't wanna work with that. So just work fast while it's still pretty hard and frozen. There, another cut here. And now let's just individually wrap this in some plastic wrap. So it should be pretty nice. So just literally peel it off. So there you have it guys. Now just leave this in the freezer and you can use it as you need. So after about an hour and a half to two, that's how your flat bit should look like. You can see it's nice and becoming really airy. What you want to do is kind of spread it out a bit, gently pushing it out with your fingertips. You don't want to smash it. You want it to be airy. It's going to help make a really nice crust and help it to rise. And there you have it guys. In the upcoming video, I'll be showing you how to actually make these flatbreads into the most delicious lunch or dinner. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to hit the bell icon down below to get notified when that awesome video is up. And leave me a comment down below if you would like me to make a specific flatbread. Until then, I'll see you guys again on the next one. <laughs> so now add in your water and start mixing at the lowest speed.